I'm the Guitar Geek, and this is the RG550DY from Ibanez. The RG550 has a basswood body or, or basswood body with a, a maple neck, which is a super wizard neck nonetheless, a five piece. So we've got maple, walnut, maple, walnut, maple, the smallest amount of walnut, of course. You can just see these two brown lines going through it. And I thought the neck was made like this so they could be um, made cheaper because then you've got smaller pieces of maple rather than a full piece of maple. However, I've since learned that it's for strength. And by doing it like this, you get a stronger neck. So now I've learned something. Back over to the front, we've got jumbo frets, which fit my jumbo fingers very well. We've got black hardware, which I love against this. It's not desert yellow. It's like baby sick yellow, but it's so awesome yellow is what it is. We've got an edge uh, tremolo system, which I have fallen in love with since playing Ibanez guitars. And they're a lot of fun to mess around with. You might be looking at me thinking, he's more of a jazz master kind of guy. And you'd be right, I'm more of a sort of vanilla guitar player, but I'm turning into someone who likes pointy edges and fun things. Who would have thunk it? Your pickup choice for today is the V8 humbucker, an S1 single coil, and a V7 humbucker, all from Ibanez and all sounding pretty good. I'm gonna play something for you now. It's not just a metal guitar, I'm gonna try and coax some other tones out of it. I lost myself in the jam there. I had a really good time, hope you did too. Um, it's really fun to coax some feelings out of this guitar that I don't get by looking at it. So I've noticed that if I look to the right of the camera on the monitoring screen, it changes the way I play because I see this yellow looking beast with a lightning strap that um, is mine. And it, it sounds wrong when I play those notes, but it's so much fun to, to hit this neck pickup on and get these really warm tones. And then there's this the, the bridge. It's so much fun to get that um, attack. And then the, the, the single coil, I've missed that one out. I'm sure some of you are holding back the rage comments right now because I'm hacking out some blues on a shred guitar and you might be here for a shred demo. Um, please go and find someone else for that. I won't be shredding apart from that demo song that I did, which wasn't even shredding. But what I'm trying to get across is that um, Ibanez for me is a very special company because they produce gu guitars that, that do a lot of different things. And I remember talking to a guy in the 2000s, a, a gigging guitar player who went around touring, gigging every day, um, playing in covers bands. And I asked him what he was playing and it was an Ibanez RG and it was quite metal looking and they weren't a metal band. And I asked him why he played that, and he said it's the most versatile guitar out at the moment. And he's probably right. I mean, looking at that, it's it's not a Les Paul, it's not a Strat, it's not anything in between. It is an RG. However, you can coax some humbuckery blues goodness from here. You can get some shred from here if you're able to shred. And if you want some clean, funky stuff, there's that single coil in the middle. I really think that um, even though this is obnoxiously yellow, and I already own one that looks a bit like this, which I'll show you in a moment. This is an excellent guitar. If it doesn't fit your image, then just play it sort of in the dark or something. I'll show you the guitar that I own. This is my RG. This is the RG350M. And honestly, I bought this um, with a bit of irony involved because I thought it was, oh, I've got paint on it from where I was painting the wall. Oops. It's just a bit of emulsion. It'll be all right. Um, I thought it would be funny for someone like me to own a bright yellow guitar. And I still think it's funny for someone like me to own a bright yellow guitar. It has different pickups. It has a different edge system. Um, it is a different guitar. It's the 350. This is the 550. So this is a uh, more embellished model. However, it does certainly feel similar. The downside is that 
I have to give that 550 back and this stays with me because it's mine. And that's better. And it's more than 200 better. It's just better. I do prefer the color of this one though. It's more sunshine yellow. <laughs> I want to talk about the neck for a moment because it's a super wizard, super thin, super thin neck. And if you've never played one of these, first time picking one up might be a bit of a surprise to you. I recently got the R8 from Gibson and that is a thick, thick 58 neck. This is the other side of the spectrum. This is almost so thin that your fingers and thumb are touching each other. It is it is a desired feel. I love it. I went from playing the R8 earlier to playing this and um, it was a lot of fun and enables me to do things that I can't do on the R8 because of my playing ability, but also because this guitar wants to be played. It wants to uh, have your fingers run up and down the fretboard and, and play lots of lovely notes. I love the wizard neck. Um, some people don't. I don't know where you fall into that equation, but it is something you need to think about. If you see this guitar and think you like the look of it or the sound, that is either going to be a um, deal breaker or a deal maker. Yeah, that's the thing. Also, we've got a locking tram, which can be a pain in the butt to change strings. Um, I have been ripping the heck out of this and really giving it some of that. And it all stays in tune really well. There we go. Um, it's, it's a really well built guitar. It has some really nice goto tuners on it, which is a kind of a shame because you don't get to use them because it's behind the locking nut. However, it's nice and it's necessary that they're included at this price point. By the way, the price point is about 950 euros. So uh, it's a serious chunk of change for a guitar, but it is a serious guitar, even though it don't look too serious. Really gonna geek out and nerd out with you. The strap buttons are brilliant because you can put a strap on and the strap won't come off without any real pulling it, which is necessary when you're running around stage doing your 80s acrobatics. Um, I managed to put this strap on here and I thought I'd never use that strap. So I'm, I'm quite pleased that I found a guitar that uh, it equally doesn't match to. Even if you're not a fan of the finish, it is executed perfectly. It is flat, it is not bubbly at all. It is wonderfully done and wonderfully hideous and or beautiful. Matching headstock. The neck is wonderfully smooth. It's a satiny kind of sort of feel. So it's, I think it would satin up a bit more. I would probably take a bit of sandpaper to that to make it a little bit smoother. It's not rough by any means, but I, I like mine really, really satin. Ibanez have done a wonderful job with this Genesis series. They come in a range of colors, all equally obnoxious, and I quite like the white one. I'm not sure if the white one's got gold hardware to match my amp, but that would be cool. Let me know you made it to the end of the video by commenting down below the name of the song that you think is the least appropriate song to play with this guitar. That sounds like something fun to do. Thanks to Ibanez for sending out the RG550. Thanks to you for watching. I have a Patreon now. You can now join me and get extra benefits over there. Otherwise, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, hit the bell and all that business. Bye.